Now let's demonstrate the Trendelenburg test. Now, you're gonna to want to observe this from the back so that you can see the patient's pelvis and their hips. Lindsay, what I want you to do is you're going to stand on one leg. So hike that one leg up. So you're looking for balance and trying to see if the patient can maintain this position. This would be considered a negative test because as you can see, Lindsay's pelvis is balanced. If she were to drop down on that right side, this side going down is a positive test because on the weight-bearing leg, this would indicate that the gluteus medius muscle is weakened or unable to stabilize her in this position. Now let's do the other leg for a sec. So bring that other leg up. So once again, a stable pelvis, this is a negative test. Dropping down of the contralateral side, the non-weight-bearing side, would be considered a positive test. Lastly, let's look at Homan's test. Now the reason we're doing this test is to rule out a deep vein thrombosis. And you might ask, what does that have to do with a lumbar spine examination? Well, in a lot of cases of disc problems or sciatica, patients will complain of calf pain or pain further down the leg. We just wanna make sure we're not dealing with a deep vein thrombosis. So coming down, patient is sitting comfortably. We're going to slightly extend the knee, not taking it too far in case there is disc involvement. We're going to dorsiflex the foot, and then we're squeezing the calf. And we're looking for a pain response. Prior to doing this, we would have looked and inspected the calf as well to make sure there's no discoloration, swelling, or any redness. That's definitely something to note. Good. Yeah. And relax. Good. Now, if you suspect a deep vein thrombosis, you should send that patient immediately off for a Doppler ultrasound. The last thing we'd want is if there is a thrombosis there, for an embolism to occur, make its way up to the lung, and then you're dealing with a life-threatening condition. As a note, um, we had a patient not that long ago that came into the clinic, you know, complaining of some tight muscles and a swollen calf. And to him, he thought it was a muscle strain. But upon examination, a DVT, a deep vein thrombosis, was suspected. And that patient was referred immediately to the hospital where they did confirm a thrombosis. So it's just something to remember. It's something you can catch in clinic and it's very important. This concludes our lumbar spine examination. We would combine this examination with a lower limb neurological examination. So please check out that video and please check out our other videos as well. Change is gonna come.